Right, what are you? How are you feeling, Bill, about what's going on up here? How, how's everything been? How's it been judging? What have you thought so far of the show? Man, it's fun being a judge. Yes. Uh, and uh, there have been highs and lows. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I've had a great time. Uh, it's been nice spending time with you, Chris. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, you're just a fun guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Wow, that uh, that did very little to raise the energy in the room, but I do appreciate it. It was very nice, Joe. How are you Who's feeling? Who's drinking right? tonight? Dude, I... <laughs> I... I live 12 hours from here, so I don't know this inside baseball. Everybody, Aurora, I don't know the fuck Aurora is. Somebody this game's got a son. I don't know if he's got a fucking son or not. So it's a little difficult for me being in Jersey. We but... don't know either. Yeah, it's we don't, yes. He doesn't know either. Jersey. 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 God. There's a there's a bunch of weird Italians floating in the back of this room. <laughs> gonna have to suss you guys out. All right, guys. All right. Shh, guys, we're up to your headlining roast of the evening. Are you guys fucking ready, huh? That last one was fucking weird. But this next one is going up last for a reason. These people are so fucking funny. So everybody, give it up for the very funny Brandon Kiefer and David Bella. There he is, David. Okay, guys, who is going first? I'll do it. Okay, Brandon's, Brandon's going, going first. first. Everybody, one more time. Battle, 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 battle. One, two, three. Rose. Hell yeah! Give it up for Dave, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. This will be he's so like, nice a, from he's now like on. yeah, we'll start nice. You're like yeah. a Make-A-Wish kid whose wish was to live and be weird with women when he's older. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say I love Brandon. Something people don't know about him, he's married. Uh, it was a COVID proposal. They were actually engaged before the pandemic, but she clearly didn't have any sense of taste or smell at the time. <laughs> Can you believe that some poor woman let this monster put a permanent ring on her bathtub? It is there forever. Unlike oh your marriage. Boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I like that. You talk about taste in women. Uh, <laughs> do you remember what you used to do around here in Chicago when you lived here? Bad taste, guys. We used to call him Ellis Island with women because he'd be like, give us your poor, your your hungry, <laughs> your broken. You're slightly talented. God yeah. damn it. I'm just saying, he's the kind of guy that would roof you a sippy cup if you're not careful. I think if you're using a sippy cup at a bar, you are being careful, though, right? <laughs> That's fair. Hey, Brandon's ancestors were not the first to own slaves, but they were the first to try to put them on layaway. That's fair. That's fair. Give it up for Dave. He just went. Uh, he just under underwent some surgery to become a gender. <laughs> Come on. First of all, I just want to say it's a great honor to be judged by the fourth line of the Mighty Ducks over here. It's, uh... <laughs> you guys look like the group of people that was hanging out with Coach Bombay that caused him to be a coach in the first place. <laughs> he was a drunk. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Brandon, I, I hate to just tell everybody. He's telling, he has never told a lie. Uh, but he has dissolved his last three dogs with it. Oh. Okay, okay, thank you. Science David joke. Phillips is the first... David Science Phillips is, joke. He's the only person I know that's been born from semen alone. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, Brandon Kiefer, and I think we can all just agree on this right now. Take a good, long look at this man. He has the swagger of a man who constantly has diarrhea, but has never spelled it successfully. <laughs> One time I asked Brandon where the H goes, he told me point blank, up my ass before I board my flight. Oh boy. All Dave's hair looks like it's a side effect from medication. <laughs> right. Most of it grows out of the mole, honestly. 
I don't know if you know this, he was the only person that ever started a chemo band. <laughs> it was called My Chemical Treatments. Um, <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Brandon reminds me of a famous comic. Uh, yeah, I can't remember which one it was. Oh yeah, it was the reboot of Garfield where John Arbuckle trades lasagna to Garfield for sex. Not a good joke, but I have cancer. So I think you can all, I'm dying in front of your eyes. And guess what, motherfuckers? This mole, I'll kill you all if I press this thing. <laughs> you keep laughing at his jokes, you dumb fucks. We'll see if you make it home to your awesome lives. Yeah, don't fuck I, with... I'm just joking. I'm, I'm going to wait till this room is full before I kill everybody. Yeah. So. Don't fuck with Dave. He still goes to a pediatrician. <laughs> 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 He's got the kind of white privilege that doesn't piss off black people. <laughs> you might remember Brandon from the movie Alvin Ate the Chipmunks. Uh, you look like the Archie character my grandma jerks off to. That's. God damn. You want to tell it again? <laughs> um, <laughs> or did you learn your lesson on that? <laughs> Last joke. Last joke. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll say this. Uh, he's like, uh, he's kind of like if uh, Casper lived, you know? <laughs> like I said, he's a little too friendly of a ghost. <laughs> Do this, I guess. I, um... Man, this is not going to be a good joke, but I'm going to be dead in several weeks. <laughs> I think you're being a little uh, optimistic. Uh, you look a little weak, fella. <laughs> my family's gonna scatter my ashes into the garbage when I get it. <laughs> All right, I'll do this show, Brandon, and then we'll get out of here, and then I'll, I'll... I don't know what I'm gonna do. You sure you don't want your girlfriend to do it for you? Because I imagine she does most things for you. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I, I tried. Hold on. I, I told I you. tried. Fuck hold you. Hold on. Hold on. This, we're, listen, we've all leave, had a good... Leave Chelsea out of this. I'm leave sorry. I love right. Chelsea. I wish it wasn't your girlfriend. She's very nice. <laughs> I know we've had a lot of fun tonight making fun of people's shortcomings, and you must feel awfully strong and powerful yourselves, but uh, I told Brandon specifically I would not make fun of his speech ingredient, as he calls it. <laughs> now, I don't know if he's retarded or from the South or eating a peanut butter sandwich in reverse. It could be any number of things. But this motherfucker is hard to understand. For years, I thought he was pro-abortion. Turns out he was just mispronouncing on probation. <laughs> Hey, they understood you, and that still wasn't that great. <laughs> you want to get out of here and watch your favorite movie, Swindler's Lisp? <laughs> Swindler's Lisp? Yeah, Swindler's Lisp. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. All right, give it up for these two right. good old boys. Huh? Thank you, buddy. Guys. You oh. know it's a good roast when there's a beat and the host says, all right, let's end the okay, show right it's, now. Uh, it's time. All right, guys, here, behind the yellow line, both of you, please. Guys, one more time for these motherfuckers. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. We just run a, a very funny show together called Beef. Uh, very good. That felt like a Civil War reenactment that got a little too personal halfway through. <laughs> felt weird. All right, well, this is, uh, this is interesting. Are you dying? Is that real? Well, I think I died in front of an entire crowd tonight, so that's a good start. Okay, not an answer. Uh, Maeve. Oh, I'm fucking 22 and I host a show. I'll live forever. Fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, I deserve death. Maeve. Oh, man, that was really fun. I, I mean, I've always wanted to see um, drunk John C. Riley and a Gogurt stick uh, roast each other <laughs> on stage. So thank you for making this little girl's dream come true. Um, I am going to give it to Dave. Yeah. Okay, Dave oh. gets a vote. All right. Every vote for Dave goes to his uh, GoFundMe for his cancer treatment. 
<laughs> DJ? It's crazy that there has to be a winner, because I think both of you have lost, lost custody at some point. So, <laughs> and with the Confederacy, you white fucks. Uh, but I, I got to give this one to Kiefer. I, I really okay, Kiefer gets a vote. One to one. Matt. Uh, yeah, that was, makes sense for both of them. That was a great battle. That was really close. Uh, it, it was a close one. My vote goes to Brandon. Okay, two for Brandon. One for Dave. Man, the, the, the applause is slowly yeah, fading. Yeah, there's not a young <laughs> They're not excited for the this. The applause is I slow, am. like most of the comics tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, genuinely feel itchy being this close to you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. I'm gonna. It was very close. That was probably the best uh, roast tonight. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Brandon. Okay, Brandon wins the roast. I want final thoughts. Oh man. Uh, well, I'm glad I don't. Uh, my vote doesn't matter. Um, I'm ashamed to call both of you my friends. Uh, uh, unlike don't, a lot don't worry, I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, Dave, you went with the R word. I respect the choice. Uh, uh, and that's cool, because Brandon actually uh, used to open for Paula Dean, and that's where she learned the N word. Uh, so. We all can learn from each other. Yeah, you know? that, I mean, that's, that's the important thing. Uh, Dave, I know this is your last roast battle, so I got to give it to you. Good yeah. Job. Okay, it's a two, three all right. battle. One more time, Dave. Thank you so much for doing the show. Wow, we missed it. Not very coordinated. Nated us whites. Get the fuck off the stage, guys. One more time for them, everybody. Oh, man. You can tell they're, like, genuinely, like, really funny comics, but, like, that thing kind of sucked, you know? That's so weird. All right. How are you guys feeling? It's been a roast battle, Chicago. Huh? We're here first and third Thursdays. You can follow us on all our shit. We post everything. Give it up for the very funny DJ Ripsky. Matt Banwert. Joe Palazzini. Bill Gervitz. Yeah, and Maeve DeVitt, everybody. First and third Thursdays. Be safe, guys. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Have a good night.